Good morning vlog. <laughs> Today we're we're in Aspen. We're gonna be doing the four pass loop. No we're not. We're canceling. No, we're we're doing the four pass loop. We're gonna do it in three days, so camping for two nights. And uh we literally just parked at the Aspen Airport. We're gonna take the bus over to Aspen Highlands. And then get our shuttle ride up to Maroon Lake where we'll start the trail. But Alec has a bit of a situation at the moment. <laughs> Alec, what just happened? No. Nothing. <laughs> it's not even wet. I don't know how it was. <laughs> so we get here. And the trunk is just wet. My shoe was wet. Alec's backpack is wet. And he opens his backpack. And his entire hydration reservoir is just empty. It was full when we left, and now it's empty. No, it's it leaked all over the car no, and all over the stuff. His sleeping bag is soaked. The tent is soaked. So, no, Dylan, what do I do? We'll, we'll give some updates along the way, but it's going to be quite the, quite the day and camping experience no, for Dylan, this actually, kid. All right, well, we made it to Maroon Lake. It's just right here behind us, and there are the Maroon Bells right there in the middle. We're gonna do the four pass loop cl clockwise. So we'll start it from right here. Alec, how are you feeling? Pretty good. Yeah? Yeah, early start to the morning, but. Early start to the morning, it's like 8.30. Dylan, we woke up at like three. Alec, this is a late start. Anyways, we're getting ready to go here. What's up guys? This is, we made it to our first stop. Crater Lake, decided to shed some layers. Got the lake in the background. You got the rune bells right there. Nice little pit stop. Done. Got anything to say? No, it's a nice day and we still got a bunch of miles in front of us. Yep. All right, we'll see you guys on the next stop. So we're just starting to make our way up West Maroon Pass right now. Here's the rest of it in front of us. The trail kind of zigzags and goes up to the top over there. And from there we'll go down, go down the other side and make our way towards Frigid Air Pass. And we'll be camping on the other side of Frigid Air Pass today. Alec, you want to tell the people how we got up here? <laughs> yes, Dylan. that is correct. We did make our way up here hiking. We made our way through that valley down there. We started just around the corner at the end of the valley and uh, <laughs> made our way up here. And we'll be at the top soon. Soon? All right, we just descended from West Maroon Pass. It's right there on top of us. Sorry, didn't, we didn't uh, vlog at the top. There's a bunch of people and dogs. So we wanted to wait a little while, let the wind die down down here. I don't know if they would have heard us because of the wind. Yeah, and I don't know if you would have been able to hear it because of all the wind. Alec, what are you up to? I was doing some ice. Some snow. Yeah. Let's break up. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> That's Colorado summer. Snow, almost year round. I don't know if this is even gonna melt, but it's August, yeah. starts. It's August. But anyways, we're currently between West Maroon and Frigid Air Pass, somewhere over there. Should be a couple miles, and we just ascended a few hundred feet, gonna gain about 500. 
And we think oh. the next pass is going to be just along this bend right here. But we'll see. We'll, up, we'll update you from the next pass. so sick. So on one hand we have West Maroon down here and back up to Frigid Pass, Frigid Air Pass where we are. And we're gonna go down this other side into this valley with these massive peaks around us. I don't recognize all of them from this side so I'm not sure which mountains those are. But we're gonna camp somewhere down there in that valley tonight which is gonna be so cool with those mounds up there. These peaks along this massive ridge up here. Alec, what do you think of this? That's pretty cool. I know. We met a couple people along the way while we were filling up on water again. And they were saying the views just get better and better as we keep going. This, we were... This is a contender to Glacier. Say that again for the camera. Say it a little bit louder. This is a contender for Glacier. This is a contender for Glacier. Wow, that's a statement right there. Glacier National Park, possibly the coolest place we've ever been, and this is a contender for sure. Yeah, you agree. I would agree 100%. Yeah. The colors are vibrant. I don't know if you can see it in the video because wow, there's cool. clouds, but the, the grass is as green as could be. The red maroonish tint to the rock in these mountains is just awesome. Sorry for this being kind of a longer vlog at the moment. This is just so cool. This is Glacier but with no people. This is Glacier but with no people, yeah. Anyways, I think we lost it. What's up guys, just a quick update here. We just made it down Frigid Air Pass. I don't know if you can see the traverse there. Um, and then we're kind of heading down this way, down to those trees, just down this valley right here. And then we got a nice view of Maroon to our right here. Dylan, do you have anything to say? Oh, well, this has just been one of the coolest hikes ever. And yeah, I mean, we've just basically been walking around the Maroon Bells all day. Uh, it's been a good time. We'll probably see you guys um, at our campsite. So we made it to camp and we're just making dinner here at our campsite in the tent because there's a bunch of mosquitoes outside of the tent. But this spot's kind of cool. You can see we're surrounded by just some trees. And this is kind of our tent setup. Alec, what are you making for dinner? This is what we got on the menu. Mexican style adobo rice and chicken. We'll see how it goes. Yeah. Go for it, Alec. Oh, man. Can I see? That's oh, right. I don't know. If I can. Ooh, it smells good already. It does. I'm excited for this, actually. Yeah, me too. Never had one of these before. But this is basically how we're wrapping up the day. Tom tomorrow we're gonna be camping at Snowmass Lake, which should be awesome. Today ended up being like, what, 11, 11 and a half miles? Yeah, what's the elevation, like three something? Yeah, like 3,700 feet. So it was a pretty good day. I think tomorrow will be a little bit shorter, which will be nice so we can get to camp earlier, spend some more time at the lake. 
But this is kind of what we have going on at the moment. You, I don't think you can get any closer than that. <laughs> <laughs> so we forgot to do a sign off vlog last night before going to bed, but kind of all that happened was we, we ate our dinner. I uh, went down to the, the stream to kind of rinse off and we kind of wound down for the night. But stay tuned for part two, which will be day two of the four pass loop. We're going to make this a three video series, one video for each day. So stay tuned.